Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High Christ Blessed. This is another 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Mattathias. And I'm Officer Losas. All right, and we're back with another topic. Today's lesson is about studying sin specific. All right, a lot of times we like to study the deep stuff. You know, the bishops and the deacons bringing out these heavy classes. Mm -hmm. But guess what? There's danger in that if you are not studying constantly on the sins that you face on the day to day. Right. Give me the book of James chapter 1 verse 14. We're going to jump right into it. Come on. The book of James chapter 1 verse 14. Uh-huh. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. Of his what? Of his own lust. Every last one of us has our own lust that we are tempted with. Right. We have to understand that thing that is near and dear to us to our flesh. From there, give me the book of Job chapter 10 verse 14. All right, Job chapter 10, verse 14, focusing on that lust. Come on. The book of Job chapter 10 and verse 14. Uh-huh. If I sin. If I do what? If I sin. So if I fall short of what God uh, ex expects out of me, if I fall short in sin, read. Then thou markest me, and thou will not acquit me from mine iniquity. Meaning what? You will be marked. That sin is going to be remembered. So knowing that, it would be. In our right minds, it would be a smart thing to do what? To make sure we continue to study, even when we get the heavy stuff. Right. Continue to study on the sins that we deal with. From there, give me Sirach chapter 10, verse 29. The book of Sirach chapter 10, verse 29. Come on. Who will justify him that sinneth against his own soul? It says, who will justify him that sinneth against his own soul? When you read in Proverbs 8 and 36, give me that real quick. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36, because you have to understand something. When we fall short, if we fall short according to our own lust, if we sin, we're sinning against ourselves. Understand that thing, and we're putting ourselves in danger. Read that. Proverbs 8 and verse 36. Come on. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. Read. All they that hate me love death. Love what? Love death. So let's go back to Sirach 10 and 29. So we got to understand something, brothers and sisters. I know we love those deep classes, but guess what? We can't forget on what's most important. Read this again. The book of Sirach, chapter 10 and verse 29. Come on. Who will justify him that sinneth against his own soul? Nobody. Read. And who will honor him that dishonoreth his own life? And that's what you're doing. You're bringing dishonor and you're bringing a stain to your own life if you continue in that sin. Now, from there, give me John chapter 5, verse 39. How do we combat it? By studying sin specific. John 5 and 39. Come on. John chapter 5 verse 39. Uh-huh. Search the scriptures. The Bible says what? Search the scriptures. Meaning what? If you battle lust, you know what you got to do. You have to search the scriptures to find the precepts. What? That's going to help you overcome lust. Right. If you are a drunkard, if you are a drug addict, you have to search the scriptures to find and locate the precepts that are going to get you to overcome that. From there, give me the book of uh, 2 Timothy 2.15. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. Come on. Study to show thyself approved unto God. Unto God, meaning what? You're studying to build up your spirit. That's what you're doing. To do what? To combat the lust, to combat the sin. Read. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, I want you to go to back to John 5 and 39 because I forgot that there was some more on that thing right there. Right. All right, watch this. The book of John, chapter 5 and verse 39. Uh-huh. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life. Eternal life. Eternal life comes by what? Keeping the commandments of God. Right. Now, from there, give me Acts 17 and 11 to show how often... To show how often we should be searching these scriptures. Watch this. Acts chapter 17 and verse 11. Come on. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica. Uh-huh. And that they received the word with all readiness of mind. Watch this. And searched the scriptures daily. How often? Daily. We got to make sure that we are studying sin-specific daily. Daily. So it's always at the front of our mind. Did we finish that? Yes, sir. All right. From there, let's go to the book of Sirach chapter 3. And I want to start at verse 21. Watch this. The book of Sirach, chapter 3 and verse 21. Uh-huh. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. That are above thy strength. The reason why the deacons and the bishops are bringing that out is because why? That's according to their strength. All right? They're exercised therein. Okay? But for us, we got to what? We still got to make sure that we are focused on what matters. And guess what? The leadership will tell you the exact same thing. Right. 
All right? It's great understanding the breakdowns, the prophecies, but what does that do for you overcoming alcoholism? What does that do for you having a porn addiction? What does that do for all of these different diverse lusts? Nothing at all. That's why we got to do what? We have to study sin specific constantly, right. daily, because guess what? Satan is ready to catch us slipping. Ready. All right, so we got to make sure we study with no idle time. Meaning what? If we have idle time, it needs to be spent studying. From there, give me the book. No, no, stay right there. Give me verse 22. Watch yes, this. Yes, sir. Verse 22. But what is commanded thee? We got to do what? What is commanded thee? That's what it's all about. Don't seek the things that are too hard or above you. Do what? Seek the things that are commanded. What? The laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. Those are the things that are going to combat the sin. Read on. Think thereupon with reverence. With what? With reverence. Read. For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. Right. It's not needful. You don't need that to make it to the kingdom of heaven. But what you do need, you need to apply God's commandments to make it to the kingdom of heaven. From there, give me the book of Psalms 131. I want you to read verse 1. The book of Psalms, chapter 131 and verse 1. Come on. Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor mine eyes lofty. Neither do I exercise myself in great matters. In what? In great matters. In matters that are too great. Meaning what? That are too high for you. King David said he don't exercise himself in those things. Read. Or in things too high for me. And two things too high for me. That's it on that? Yes, sir. All right. Drop that. Give me the book of Sirach, chapter 19 and verse uh, 24. The book of Sirach, chapter 19 and verse 24. Watch this. He that hath small understanding and feareth God. Right, meaning what? Applies the commandments. If you fear God, you are going to be fearful of his judgments, and by default, you are going to apply God's commandments. Read that again. Verse 24. Come on. He that hath small understanding and feareth God uh -huh. is better than one that hath much wisdom and transgresseth the law of the Most High. You see that thing right there? You could be deep. You could have all the revelation breakdowns. But guess what? That doesn't mean you are an expert at keeping God's commandments. So think about it. Weigh them in the balance. Which one is more important? The deep break, break, uh, breakdowns or what? The keeping of God's commandments. Right. It's this one right here. All right, from there, let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, and I want verse 13. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 13. Come on. And I gave my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all the things that are done under heaven. So King Solomon said, hey, when it came to all of the knowledge in the earth, you know, all of the deepness and mysteries, he said he gave his mind to know those things. Read on. This sword travaileth. Hath God given to the sons of man to be exercised therewith? He said that's a source, Travel. That's what, that's what he's saying. It's, it's a lot. Read on. Verse 14. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun. And behold, all is vanity. All is what? All is vanity Read. and vexation of spirit. It's not worth it. So what did King Solomon say in the end? Give me Ecclesiastes 12, 13. What did he say? In the end of it all. Watch this. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Come on. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh-huh. Fear God and keep his commandments. That's what this thing is all about, brothers and sisters. So never forget, our focus should always be on studying sin specific. Never forget that. Never, it should never be a drop off. From there, let's go to Sirach chapter 23 and verse 2. The book of Sirach, chapter 23 and verse 2. Come on. Who will set scourges over my thoughts mm -hmm. and the discipline of wisdom over mine heart, that they spare me not for mine ignorances, and, and it pass not by my sins. Watch this. Lest my ignorances increase and my sins abound to my destruction. Right. So think about it. You have to be disciplined according to what? God's laws. You have to study according to discipline. So what? So your sins... Those, that's the ignorances right there, yes, that sir. your sins don't increase and lead to your destruction. Finish it off. And I fall before my adversaries, uh -huh. and my enemies rejoice over me, whose hope is far from thy mercy. Now, I want to switch gears a little bit. Give me the book of uh, Acts 24. I'm going to show you something. All right. It's, uh, remember, Paul, Paul, the apostle Paul was taught by Christ himself. He also studied at the feet of Gamaliel. Gamaliel. All right, so when it came to the knowledge of the scriptures, Paul definitely had that thing right there. But I want to show you something. Give me uh, Acts 24 and 16. 
The book of Acts, chapter 24, and verse 16. Watch this. And herein do I exercise myself to have always a conscience void of offense towards God. Do you know what that means mm. when it says that he exercises his conscience so it's not an offense to God? Meaning what? He constantly studies the laws to combat his lust. Mm. So he does not transgress the commandments. Read it again. Verse 16. Come on. And herein I do exercise myself to have always a conscience void of offense towards God. Read. And towards men. So he knows how to honor God in his flesh and how to deal with his brothers and sisters according to the laws of God. That's how we got to be, brothers and sisters. How do you do that? By studying sin specific, constantly studying the laws of God. All right, from there, let's go to uh, Romans 7 and 7 to show just that. Romans 7 and 7. The book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 7. Come on. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay, I had not known sin but by the law. But by the law, read. For I had not known lust, except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. Read. But sin, taken occasion by the commandment, wrought in me all manner of concupiscence. Guess what? Because that's what Paul dealt with. Evil concupiscence, strong sexual lust. All right, but guess what? How did he find out how to combat it? How did he find out it was wrong? By studying the laws of God. Right. All right, from there. Let's go to Galatians. No, drop that. Give me 2 Ezra chapter 2. 2 Ezra chapter 2, verse 35. We're about to wrap up. Watch this. 2 Ezra chapter 2 and verse 35. Come on. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom. Right, so the scripture says be ready to the reward of the kingdom. All right, it's talking about the kingdom of heaven. You get a reward for what? Adhering to the commandments of God. Read on. For the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Read. Flee the shadow of this world. Flee the shadow of this world. What's in this world? Lust, right. diverse lust, all types of wickedness. God is telling us in order to get that reward of the kingdom, we have to flee the shadow of this world. Come on. Flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. Uh -huh. I testify my Savior openly. Read on. Oh, receive the gift that is given you and be glad. Giving thanks unto him that hath called you to the heavenly kingdom. Read. Arise up and stand. Behold, the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. Right. It says the numbers of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. The 144 in the multitude, right? So it's telling you they did what? They flee the shadow of this world. They overcame. Dang. Read verse 39. Verse 39. Which are departed from the shadow of the world. And have received glorious garments of the Lord. Right. So if we want to overcome, it's going to be very hard to do if you're focused on other things outside of the commandments of the Lord. Okay. Uh, last two scriptures. Give me Revelations 3. Give me Revelations 3. I want 21. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 21. Come on. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne. What is he talking about right here? What is Christ talking about? He's talking about overcoming our sins all right read it again verse 21 to him that overcometh will i grant to sit with me in my throne same thing picking up where we just left off in second Ezra's two talking about what the kingdom of heaven for battling and overcoming your sins read even as i also overcame and, and that's the key mm. even as christ also overcame so if we want to follow that example if we want to reign with christ guess what we got to overcome the same way Christ did. Right. Read. Even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches. You see that thing? So we got to have that ear and we got to open our ears and realize it's all about overcoming sins. We can never forget that thing. It don't matter how much knowledge, no, ma no matter how much history, prophecy, breakdowns we learn. We cannot forget that it's always about overcoming sin. Last scripture, James chapter 1, verse 25. The book of James chapter 1 and verse 25. Come on. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty Come on. and continueth therein. And continueth therein following Christ, read. He being not a forgetful hearer. He being what? Not a forgetful hearer. That's the thing right there, brothers and sisters. We cannot be forgetful hearers when it comes to adhering to the commandments of God. Right. Because that's what this thing is about from Genesis to Revelations. It's about overcoming our sins. Finish that out. 
but a doer of the work. Doing what? But a doer of the work. This man shall be blessed in his deed. It says that this man shall be blessed in his deed. Bishop Nathaniel, I want you to know that you can review all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. The book of Sirach, chapter 50 and verse 28. Start at 27. The book of Sirach, chapter 50 and verse 27. Come on. Jesus, the son of Sirach of Jerusalem, hath written in this book, the instructions of understanding and knowledge, who out of his heart poured forth wisdom. Read. Blessed is he that shall, exer shall be exercised in these things, and he that layeth them up in his heart shall become wise. Right, it says blessed are those who are going to be exercised in what? In the knowledge and the wisdom, which is God's commandments. All right, this is another 15 minutes with the captains, and with that, we say shalom. Shalom. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.